So traveling from Korea to the USA was definitely one of the most difficult, challenging, but also interesting trips we've, I've, I would say from my point of view, ever done. Yeah. It's 5 a.m. We need to leave the airport about 45 minutes an hour. All right, so this is basically what happened. We started at our apartment in Korea. Uh, we woke up around five, woke Will up 30 minutes after that once we had finished packing our like, suitcases and like doing all the dishes and unplugging stuff. And we got a taxi to the airport. Then at the airport, it was really empty actually. Actually, I mean, it was, <laughs> it was very empty. But... Can I get my phone out of your bag too? Empty? Pretty empty. This is the emptiest I've ever seen it. And I've flown through Incheon dozens of times. Yeah. It was very empty, but I feel like when we got there, we were a little bit surprised that there were people there. You know what I mean? It wasn't yeah. like a lot of people, but it was like more people than I was expecting. But we had a couple hours to kill at the airport. And then, why don't we board our flight like three hours after we got there? May I have your attention, please? For the safety of passengers, Please wear a face mask for the duration of your travel. I feel like I was more surprised at how empty the plane was in the airport. Or I was surprised yeah. at how empty the plane was based on the airport. It was, it was surprising to see. Like, I knew it was gonna be empty, but I didn't really believe it still. How does it feel? So, we did it. We made it to boarding. The only, the next milestone is takeoff. So, yeah, that was definitely, the airplane flight was definitely the hardest part. Out of, like, driving in a car or, like, <laughs> arriving. Car arriving. It was also 13 hours. And the flight attendants were wearing, like, these blue gowns, I wasn't expecting that. But there was definitely a bunch of other things too we just didn't expect. So for example, as being parents with a kid, I guess generally what people do is they eat meals one, one at a time. Each parent gets a meal as the other one watches the kid and then you switch. <laughs> <laughs> well, I also feel like it's not something you have to do. I feel like it's an option. Uh, we requested Bassnet for the flight because we didn't get Will a separate seat. Uh, and so we thought it'd be a nice thing for him to sleep in if he did fall asleep at any point. We didn't end up using it as much as we thought for Will. It just became like a carry-all for like stuff. <laughs> we put so much stuff in the Bassnet. <laughs> So, even if you don't put your baby in it, you should probably just get one because it frees up a lot of space. Especially yeah. if you're not on an empty flight. Yeah. And don't have an extra seat next to you. <laughs> so, we did have to improv a little bit and make some toys for Will. Because the toys you brought online didn't work. Yeah. One of them was a soda can with the hole taped and he just worked at the tab, take it off. Which is something I feel like he likes to play with at home too. Yeah. Definitely diaper changes were really hard. Like already airplane bathrooms are tiny. So then like pulling that thing down and then you know, changing his diaper. You know what I was surprised by though? Huh. That every single bathroom in the plane had a changing table. Oh yeah. Like I went to four different bathrooms in the plane and all of them had a changing table. I guess it makes sense too because if it's a full flight. Yeah, you like, probably want baby's diapers to be changed. Yeah. Um, and then Will, like I changed his diaper once for poop and then I changed it once for pee. <laughs> then I changed it once again for poop. In a 13 hour time frame. <laughs> yeah. He pooped twice. It doesn't never poop so it's, it, <laughs> anymore. Yeah. And now he hasn't even pooped in like two days, it feels like. <laughs> Actually, I don't think he pooped at all today. Uh, oh. We got through it though in the end. It was tiring. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> we did it. The first After the first two hours, I was like, really? Only two hours? And I was like, oh, okay, here we go. Now we're really going in for the long haul. Yeah. But once it got halfway six hours, I was like, okay, we can do this. It's only six more hours. But regarding COVID and flying internationally, honestly, it wasn't bad at all. Like, I I don't think 
you're gonna catch your high, like right now at least, it's not like a higher likelihood you're gonna catch COVID by flying internationally. You're definitely gonna have a higher likelihood to flying domestically or just taking the subway in Korea. Yeah. I didn't feel unsafe at all. Like, they, all the flight attendants were wearing masks. They even had gowns on. All the passengers were wearing masks. Yeah. They were also wearing a mask. Nobody's sitting next to each other because the plane's so empty. Yeah. To be honest, it's just a good time to fly internationally, I think. Yeah. I mean, be responsible. <laughs> yeah. Just like go fly places and stuff. So anyway, so then, our, yeah, we, we got through those 12 and a half hours and landed and we got to America. There's no lines, totally empty, so we got through immigration like that. I mean, everybody was wearing masks who was working in the airport, but they didn't say anything about COVID. They didn't say anything like, okay, we recommend you do a quarantine. They didn't even say that. They didn't even, they didn't they didn't even mention COVID. They didn't even take our temperatures, yeah. It was just like we came to America, but now- Everyone was wearing masks. People were wearing masks. <laughs> in the airport. Yeah, that was it. We got the immigration, baggage claim, Nobody around, Nobody only around. one bag carousel yeah. actually going because I guess our flight was the only one that arrived at that time. I feel like the weirdest thing was when we got our bags, went through customs, and then like the doors opened and it was like nobody. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> there were like literally zero people out there. But then we saw my dad, we yeah. got we met him, we saw Will. Hi, Grandpa! He's here! <laughs> He's here. He's like... <laughs> yeah. And the only last leg of the journey was driving a car for an hour. Yeah. Was that only an hour? I feel like that car ride actually went really long. Yeah. And then we made it home. Go take it slow. Hello, dear. How are you? Here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. He's like, stop it. That's beard. He feels the beard. <laughs> yeah, overall, it was, really, it was worth it. I feel like it was worth it. I'm really glad we came. Yeah. <laughs> but it was exhausting. <laughs> Definitely the most tiring, yeah. hardest trip I've ever done. <laughs> Anyways, that's the video. Thanks for watching and we will let us know if you have any questions and you're traveling with a baby. We've only done it once so far, so we're not like, we don't, there's probably sure. other people who have more experience and better tips, but uh, maybe we won't survive the next flight. <laughs> yeah. Give us more tips. Give us, cause we're flying back to Korea in a month and it's, I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is the flight back shorter? Yeah. No. I guess awesome. this is still a thing. Well, I guess I gotta get one. <laughs> Read wanna, the sign. I just want to fit in. <laughs> I just want to fit in. <laughs>